Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing an idea which one of you guys suggested in the comments for me to do as a pre-recorded video for when I am on holiday. So hello from the past, I don't know when this video is going to release, it's probably going to be a good week or so after I do it. But yeah, anyways, let's just get straight into today's video guys. So one of you guys suggested in the comments that I do, yeah, swap Jupiter and Venus's orbit to see the effect on the solar system. So yeah, let's get straight to it, right. So we'll go ahead to Venus first, which seems to be overly hot for some reason. But we'll go ahead and pause this, and we're going to place Jupiter right here. And we're going to see what sort of chaos we can uh, unfold on the solar system. So we're going to uh, place it right there in where Venus normally is. We're going to delete Venus, and then we're going to auto-orbit Jupiter in Venus's orbit. Right, so that's pretty much where Venus is now. Now... There we are. Right. Now we go ahead to Jupiter over here, which is actually the custom one. And we're going to go ahead and place a Venus here. So we'll, we'll use a uh, custom Venus for this. Why not? I think it, we'll just place a random one in. Why not? So we'll just place it right in the middle there. And then we'll go ahead and delete the original Jupiter and then leave this Venus here. So there we go. So that's the uh, reflective Venus, which isn't so reflective as it's further from the sun now. Right. So here we are. Jupiter and Venus. What sort of chaos do you think will unfold here? I mean... We've now got the biggest planet in the solar system as the closest planet to Earth, <laughs> since Jupiter is closer to Earth than Mars's orbit is. So that's going to be insane, but yeah, crazy indeed. Right, so let's go ahead and speed up time. We'll pull it to about, I don't know, 10 hours a day or so. All right, there we are. We're going to click play. Actually, yeah, we're going to get a lot quicker than that. And we're just going to keep an eye on the orbits because with Jupiter there, it's going to make it pretty chaotic. So we'll keep an eye on the orbits, but with Jupiter a lot closer to the sun, it'll probably wobble some of the orbits out in the outer system as well. So yeah, there we go. Right, let's speed this up and wait. So I reckon when Jupiter passes by Earth, we could see some uh, pretty interesting changes. Let's go ahead and watch and see if it does anything. No, maybe. I mean, it could take a while for it just to get uh, warmed up, I guess. So yeah, we'll keep, uh, keep it running at a decent pace here. Don't want to play it too fast, otherwise it'll just shoot out stuff in random directions for no reason. So, yeah, there we go. I'd be surprised if it actually does nothing, honestly. But, I mean, it is closer to the sun. So, maybe the sun's gravity would still be too strong here for Jupiter to really have an effect and break out of its orbit or anything or interrupt the upper planets. Maybe the sun's gravity is just too strong here for Jupiter to make an effect. Because, remember, the sun has got 1,048 Jupiters in it. And Jupiter only has one. And since Jupiter's a lot closer, I think that 1,000 Jupiters may make quite a lot more difference than where it would if Jupiter was in its original spot. But anyways, Jupiter seems to be doing pretty, uh, or being pretty calm at the moment. But actually, one thing I'm going to do, though, just to make it more interesting, I'm going to add Jupiter's moons in. And we're going to see, um, we're going to see if the moons start shooting out everywhere. Because I reckon they will. Maybe Earth will capture some as well. So I'm just going to save this as uh, uh, Venus and Jupiter go just um so i have a save before um we uh, add the moons in but before we um add the moons let's quickly go to venus how's venus doing so even this far from the sun still 181 degrees it's pretty pretty hot there but yeah there we go so there's venus we'll, maybe it'll cool down a little further but yeah let's go to jupiter we're gonna add moons right so there they are oh my look how far they spread out yeah earth may actually capture some of these but i reckon a lot of these are gonna start orbiting the sun so we're gonna go ahead slow it down because it probably lag it a bit Click play, and oh my, <laughs> okay, so we have pretty much just created a new asteroid belt here, but look at all these guys, so you can see at the Galilea moons, so uh, Io up to Callisto, those guys are still orbiting Jupiter, but all of the moons further out have just said, nope, we're leaving, and that's literally what they've done, literally, now we've just got a ton of little asteroids orbiting in between Mercury and Earth, some of them are just shooting out a lot further away as well, so yeah, there we go, but we'll let this uh, speed up a bit. Let things get um, normalized. I guess it looks like Io is broken out for some reason. I'm guessing that's just because we are got so many objects in here. It's not simulating properly. Uh, Io is closer to Jupiter. I don't think it would escape um, that easy now. So that's a little funny. But yeah, look at Earth. Look at all these asteroids. Maybe Earth will actually capture some. So let's see here. I mean, maybe. If some of these get close enough, it could actually capture them. I mean, I reckon it will. Maybe even Mercury could capture an asteroid or two. Um, in its travels around the sun here. I mean, it looks like it just had a close um, call with one of them there. Maybe some of them will even collide. It looks like Europa's escaped now. Though that, that isn't right. I don't think. Jupiter shouldn't have kicked those guys out. That's very strange. I don't see why they would get tossed out. So that's very, very weird. I'll leave them in here though. Why not? Just to see if we get any craziness unfold. I mean, something's still orbiting Jupiter in there. So yeah, Callisto's still orbiting. It looks like Ganymede and all the other two have just gone. 
That is very weird. Actually, no, I will delete those because they shouldn't even be here. So let's go ahead and remove those. Ganymede, I have no clue where it even is, as there is a ton of stuff in here. Yeah, I've completely lost sight of Ganymede. No, no idea at all where it is. I can't even see it. So yeah, we just have to wait for that to show up. But yeah, now we can speed up a bit more and just watch this stuff unfold now. I mean, that's quite a lot of stuff. I mean, some of this will probably shoot into the asteroid belt. But yeah, the inner solar system is just full of little rocks now from the remains of the Jupiter ring system. So yeah, there we are. How's, how's Earth doing? Just chilling there? Yeah, but overall, the orbits are pretty calm. I mean, nothing's really wobbling. Yeah, even out here, nothing's really wobbling that much. So um, yeah, pretty good stuff. I mean, we could speed it a little quicker, but I think that I don't think that'd be a good idea because I think it'd just go nuts with the amount of stuff it's shooting out. You can already see it's starting to give stuff more crazy orbits like that. Mercury's orbit's going a bit crazy as well because we're speeding it up too much. But yeah, even then, the orbits out here look fine. So um, yeah, there we go. So the inner solar system is pretty much unaffected um, when we put Jupiter in here. I mean, it's only the orbits have only changed with Mercury because we sped the thing up too much. But other than that, how, how's Earth doing? I mean, Earth. Earth is, yeah, just chilling at normal sort of temperatures. Nothing, I mean, maybe something would hit it eventually, but it would recover eventually afterwards. I mean, maybe it would kill all the life on Earth, but I reckon the Earth, the planet, would be fine probably after a good amount of time. But yeah, there's that. Anyway, Venus, on the other hand, is just chilling. Just still at 100 minus 1, oh, no, not minus, 181 degrees. Nothing's really changed. It's probably still just as bad as it was before, just a little cooler in temperature. I mean, it's not like freezing cold now. I don't know why the albedo is so low on it. That's not right. Hang on. Maybe maybe that is actually inaccurate. Because if we put an actual, the regular Venus in, for instance, we'll put it, that's pretty much in the right spot there. How hot will that go? Because I reckon this could be inaccurate since this albedo wasn't correct. But, okay, so at the correct albedo, there's Venus's temperature. So it's actually going to cool down. Or no, is it? No, it's just hanging around very low Earth temperatures now. I mean, yeah, look at the inner system just going nuts. But... Venus, yeah, Venus is just sitting at 5, 6 degrees, not really changing much in there. So the temperature's correct, but still got a lot of sulfuric clouds, which would make it pretty unhattable there. I mean, maybe it's colonizable now since it's not as hot anymore. Maybe that would make a difference. But yeah, that's with that out of the way. I mean, look at this. I mean, that's what happens when you speed it up too much. I mean, if you speed it up as, like, even faster, it just shoots everything out and makes a total firework show. As you can see, everything's been shot out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's not realistic. It's just the game can't run it quick enough. So, yeah, there is that. But, yeah, we'll go back into the simulation with just Jupiter um, and Venus. And we'll see if um, we'll see if it makes any difference without the moons. So, wait for that to load up. Right. So we're going to click play, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put it at a decent speed, nothing ridiculous. So we can try and simulate a few years at a time here. So about six six months, so we're trying about almost uh, a year a second here. So you can see they're spinning around pretty nicely, but I mean, the orbits are wobbling slightly now since we've sped it up, but I'd say, this, I'd say they're still pretty stable by the looks of it. I mean, the inner solar system is fine. I mean, Earth's orbit, you can see that Earth is slightly wobbling, but its temperature is temperature's fine it's not really increasing much or anything it's still staying within the same numbers every time it goes around its orbit so yeah that's not really changed i guess in mars no difference with mars uh, venus on the other hand still probably hotter than it should be it should be at 88 albedo so there we go let's put it to 88 there we go no not one 0 0.88 there we go so yeah venus will be around that sort of temperature so yeah, there we are. So it looks like the results are, if you swap Jupiter and Venus around, the effect is a lot less than you would think from our tests we've done here. I mean, we can speed up just a tad more. So we're traveling at 1.5 years now. Yeah, it seems pretty stable. Nothing's really happening. I mean, some of the outer solar system objects were slightly wobbly, but the, the main sort of seven planet, or main eight planets, sorry, they don't seem affected anyway. I mean, Mercury is comfortably sitting closer to the sun than Jupiter. Earth, the closest planet to Jupiter, seems to be just fine. I mean, I reckon Jupiter's radiation would have other... Uh, I would say something else about that. But from just what Universe Sandbox is simulating, seems pretty fine. But yeah, you've got to remember, in reality, Jupiter has a very crazy magnetic field around it. And maybe that would hurt Earth when it gets closer. But as in Universe Sandbox, like I said, nothing's really happening. So yeah, pretty good. I mean... Yeah, Venus as well, just chilling at minus one degree at the moment. 
not maybe really the same as what the normal Venus is, but yeah, Venus is a lot cooler and maybe it would be colonizable at this distance with current temperatures. So yeah, there is that guys, but yeah, that will do it for today's video. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Um, let me know um, your thoughts on this as well. Pretty interesting. I thought there would be more having Jupiter this close, but yeah, apparently not. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. And yeah, guys, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 9,000 subscribers as I, I don't know what we'll be at by the time I record or when this comes out, but I'm assuming we are around 8,300. So yeah, really, really cool stuff. And yeah, massive thank you for everyone who's recently subscribed. But yeah, that is um, it for today, guys. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye and have a great day.